for the CIF Southern California Regional Finals. Tonight we have the number one seed Centennial Huskies against the Chino Hills Huskies. The Chino Hills Huskies barely beat Torrey Pines the other day, 64 to 57. Meanwhile, Corona Centennial cruised past Redondo Union, 85 to 64. The winner of tonight's game will advance to the state championships at Cal Berkeley next week and will face off against the winner of the Wood Creek San Ramon Valley game. But first, let's toss it over to Tom Kiss on the other side. Thanks, Courtney. Well, you know, March Madness has hit Southern California, this Southern Cal region, all final between Corona Centennial and Chino Hills. It's funny because, you know, we had a matchup the other night, UCLA and SMU. Well, tonight, you're going to see two players that are committed to those schools. Of course, Lonzo Ball has already committed to UCLA, while Cedric Bearfield has committed to the SMU Mustangs. But when you talk about this game, it's the size of Centennial. Is Chino Hills going to be able to stop 6'9 Jalen Hill and 6'9 EK Anigbu? We'll find out. Back to you, Courtney. Thanks, Tom. Now, the last time these two teams faced off against each other was at regional finals last year. Corona Centennial took it home, so it's safe to say it's going to be a very exciting game. Now, if there's one thing I am positive about tonight is that the Huskies will be going to the state championship. But will it be the Chino Hills Huskies or the Corona Centennial Huskies? We've got highlights and interviews coming your way. Six, six senior, number 25, Jared Meebe. Junior guard, number two, Lonzo Ball. 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 Centennial Biggs would get a block shot right here over to Jordan Griffin. He's going to go coast to coast, lays it in. Then from the outside, a three-pointer. 20 points on the night for Griffin. Cedric Bearfield headed to SMU, lays it in. 20 to 11 at the end of the first quarter. Lonzo Ball, long pass to Leangelo. He's going to lay it in. Then Lonzo takes it himself, goes to the hole. Two easy points, then once again holding off Bearfield to the hole. It's it. Chino Hills up 32 28, third quarter. Lonzo, outlet to Jared Neve. He's going to take this down the left side. It's going to get blocked, but he follows his shot up and lays it in. He had nine points on the night. Then Lonzo fighting for the rebound. He ends up getting it out to Leangelo. Easy laying on that one. Then from the corner, Leangelo for three. It drops in. He's going to get it again from the top of the key. Crucial three-pointer off the bank. Did he call it? It went in, though. Then Lonzo lays this one in. Fourth quarter action. He's going to take the game over. Fights off two defenders for this rebound, lays it up, and one, Chino Hills is going to go to Berkeley. After the game, Lonzo Ball would step forward to accept the fair play award given to him from the CIF Southern Section. He would step forward with the rest of his teammates to accept their Southern California Regional medals. This championship is the first for Chino Hills. Coach Steve Bake would step forward to accept the award. He gets to take a picture with their athletic director, the principal. He will hold up the trophy. A first for him. Shares it with the crowd, then takes it over his team, who sits down for the traditional championship photo at the end of the game. They're headed to Berkeley. The Chino Hills Huskies are now your Southern California regional champions. Here are their thoughts after the big win. Oh, what a game. I mean, we came in excited. Um, we just knew that this was a, a true championship game because uh, Centennial, they were ranked number two in the state, number 13 in the, uh, the nation by Max Preps, and I think that was definitely deserving. These guys, um, they, they played more than just to win the game. You know, we lost our brother, uh, Nandi Akangwu, earlier this year, and um, 
I just ask them to just make him proud because I, I, I know that he's up in heaven right now. And he was cheering on Zoe, he was cheering on Jello, he was cheering on Jared and all of our teammates. And I just said, just do one thing, fellas, just make your brother proud. And that's exactly what they did. Oh, yeah, we knew we had to pick it up. We told each other to just play hard and not worry about anything, no distractions, and just um, come out and play hard defense, make sure they turn it over, and just push it from there. 26 15 8 5 3. Was there something where you consciously said, All right, you know, championship game, I need to have, have my best effort today? Yeah, most definitely. Last year, I uh, came in here, we lost. So now I was losing feels and I didn't like that feeling. I didn't want to experience it again, so I just came out here, gave them all. Yeah, we got to win. What was with the slow start? So you guys kind of got off to a slow start and then once you hit the second quarter, everything seemed okay. Uh, actually, all the playoffs we've been starting off slow, so it was nothing new. And uh, we just knew we had a uh, regroup and just uh, lock up, started with defense, and uh, that's how we won. How would you look, how do you look upon it here? I think it uh, definitely benefited us, made us stronger, brought us closer together. All the ups and downs, you know, just got to stay focused and stay together, and that's what we did. And uh, now we're going to work. After the forfeits, I mean, at that point, are you guys thinking, hey, maybe it's not meant to be? Is that? Or did you say, hey, you know what, we're still going to have a chance? Yeah, not at all. I just uh, drive us harder. He would want to take away wins from us, and he's going to focus on all these. Coach, were you surprised that they didn't just bang it inside with those big big players against you guys? I mean, you know, if they could bang it inside as much as possible and, you know, create problems for you guys foul-wise, was, was that a concern for you going in tonight? I, I think so. I mean, it, I thought they did. I thought they made an effort to get the ball inside. Uh, but I think our zone, you know, caused them some trouble in making a direct line pass inside to the bigs. And uh, you, you, when you got a player like Zoe, who's going to contest, you know, a six ten guy shot, it, it's going to, it's not, it's not always easy for them. So we've seen that, you know, we felt like we should have beat Oak Hill, Oak Hill this past, se uh, this past season at the uh, Bass Pros Tournament champion. I was concerned going into the game, you know, who's going to stop their six ten, their six eleven, six seven, and that was the moment where I was like, oh my God, this is how special Zoe is. He literally, there, there was nobody else in the nation that you could put and sub Zo out and give us a chance to win in that game. And that, that question also for you, Zo, and, and for Jared, you know, knowing that you were going to possibly get into foul trouble, how did that change your mindset, especially in the fourth quarter when you picked up your fourth foul? Uh, I've been playing big all year, so it's got to move. And I know that Jared helped me on the other side. So uh, between us two, we just held down the middle. Third. So, Jared. So we just told me, he said, don't foul them, get your hands off them, and just get rebounds. So I just tried to follow my leader and do the best I can do for them. So I can help him out. What do you know about San Ramon Valley, your next opponent, Coach? <laughs> Is that what we're playing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's, what's, what's interesting is um, I, I, I saw three Berkeley bumper stickers uh, drive to work uh, a couple days ago, and I was just like, this, this can't be a coincidence. And then when I got to practice, I was talking to my assistant, Mel Sims, and he goes, Coach, I had a dream that we're playing Sam Ramon. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Who's Sam Ramon, you know? And he goes, uh, they're playing, uh, they're, they're going to be playing uh, Wood Creek. Wood Creek. Okay. And the reason why he brought that up was he goes, I lost to Sam Ramon uh, in, in his state championship game back whenever he, he was coaching. So he goes, I want Sam Ramon. <laughs> and so we got what we, you know, what he was wishing for. And that's, it's just so ironic to me. After the loss, Corona Centennial coach and a few players sat down for a press conference. Here are their remarks. The first quarter we played, uh, we played really well. Um, we were moving the ball offensively. We made, um, made some shots. We are getting the ball inside. We were doing the things that we talked about defensively as far as guarding Alonzo and, and Jello. I thought we did a really good job there. Um, we were rotating on defense well, um, boxed out. I thought we were, you know, we were playing really well. I mean, we were in control of the game. Could you just talk about Lonzo Balls? I'm sure you, even though he's a opponent, you have to appreciate for what he's able to do with so many things out here. Um, I think he's going to have a very long career in the NBA. Um, that's what I think. I told, I told the guys that in practice. I mean, with his stats, he had 26 points and 15 rebounds and 8 steals. Um, he's really good. Um, and he's going to play in the NBA for a long time. I wish he was graduating. We were up 20 to 11, and I think we were playing just fine. And then 
you know, as they started to catch up and then they took the lead, you know, maybe we got a little bit, um, maybe we panicked a little bit. I mean, these guys have all played in this game last year. You know, all these guys sit up here with them. They played in this game last year. Um, they won this game last year. They played in a state final. They've been in the open division playoffs. They've got a lot of victories, a lot of wins, a lot of big games, all that stuff. So I don't think they were nervous. They weren't scared or anything like that. Maybe we panicked a little bit. Maybe we rushed, you know, to try to catch up. We had plenty of game left, so, um, you know, I don't think we needed to do that. But it, it, to me, it was, I think we got kind of rushed a little bit. Um, I wouldn't say nervous or anything like that, but we definitely got rushed. And, you know, maybe there was some panic when we got down. Um, you know, oh, Kyle, we talked about this uh, last week, but, you know, we haven't, we haven't been down in very many games lately, you know, so it's been a couple weeks since we've had to deal with that. Maybe we panicked and rushed it. The final score of tonight's game was 62-51. The Chino Hills Huskies are now your Southern California Regional Champions. They do advance to the state championship next Friday night, 8 p.m. at Cal Berkeley, and will be taking on San Ramon Valley. A very exciting time for the city of Chino Hills and the Huskies. Tom, what are your thoughts on tonight's game? Well, you know, coming into this game, Courtney, I really thought uh, Chino Hills was going to be challenged. They lost to Corona Centennial last year. They were the number one team. They were in the open division. There were a lot of things that were going to have to go Chino Hills' way, especially after the first quarter. Uh, I, I didn't think that was going to happen. But, you know, when you got a guy like Lonzo Ball on your team, he just makes so many things happen. The coaches talked about it. You know, even the other players talked about it. Um, when you've got something like that that's special, you can see what happens. And, you know, this is going to mark the end of our coverage for football, basketball, and the season. And, you know, I just want to thank all the fans. I want to thank everyone down at the Tribune, Fred Robledo, Aaron Talesian, Steve Ramirez, all the people at the Bulletin, Clay Fowler, uh, Michelle Gardner, uh, Louis Brewster. It has been a fantastic season. It's hard to believe that we started this back at the end of August, and here it is in March, and the season's over. So thanks, everybody, for what you've done for us, watching the videos and everything that you do. Off of that note, thank you everyone from the Long Beach State Pyramid. I'm Courtney Pons for the Tribune Sports.